We running? Excellent. Okay, hi. Um, it's good to see you all. Thank you for coming to watch this video. I'm going to spend some time with uh, my children. I've got Michael here. Thank you, Michael. Who is... How old are you, Michael? He is nine. Showing these nine fingers. You can speak, you know, just because it's the video. And behind the camera is my older son, Lex. Lex, can you tell us how old you are? Twelve. You're very, very nearly twelve, aren't you? <laughs> yes. 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 Brilliant. And we're going to spend some time today explaining how to play the game New Little Wars, which is a game for adults to play with children who are interested in learning about miniatures wargaming. So we've set up a table here. This is my own table. It doesn't have to be uh, this elaborate or painted, but we've used some bits and pieces from my own collection to illustrate how we're going to play. Um, and Michael is ready to play. I'm going to show you what it is that we need to get started. Uh, the first, I guess, and most important thing is we need some models with which to play. Uh, these can be anything. They can be toys. They can be Lego men. Um, they can be uh, cut out pieces of paper. Um, in this case, of course, I have a large collection of modeling war game miniatures. So uh, we're using four different miniatures from two different ranges. Um, I have got some miniatures from Defiance Games and Michael has some miniatures from Dreamforge. The other things we need to play are one dice and one measuring stick. Yeah. The measuring stick is six inches long. It doesn't have to be, but that's convenient length. I like six inches. Six inches. Probably cut that out of the video. Yeah. The other thing that we use is a little box. This is actually an electrical junction box, um, but I have got hold of this so that we can roll our dice in the box. Uh, and this is because, surprisingly, for, for children who, who don't play a lot of games, um, rolling dice isn't always the, the easiest and most obvious activity, and it's very helpful no. to have a little box to <laughs> roll it in so it doesn't go on the floor. Let me practice, so, I rolled it a lot. But this is not part of the times. terrain, it's just something that we're using to help us roll the dice neatly. So, we'll get to the game. First thing we're going to do is roll to see who goes first. However, Normally, we would roll dice to see who goes first, and whoever rolls higher gets the first turn. However, for this game, I am going to take the first turn, because that means I can walk our viewers through what I do in the turn, and then Michael can have his turn. Yay. And we'll play a couple of turns through, and then we will cut the video, and we will fade to the end of the game. Okay? Tremendous. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Right. So I'm going to have the first turn, but before we start, the first thing we have to do is deploy our miniatures. And to keep things really simple, we're going to be able to deploy our soldiers anywhere between our board edge and the end of one movement stick. So they don't have to be right on the edge. They can be anywhere up to the distance of one movement stick into the board. So we'll each take a moment to lay up our models. Now, as I have the first turn, I should be deploying my models first. But I'm already prepared. Michael's already deployed his, but if you'd like to change your mind about any of your deployments after I've put my models out, you did. can. I already did. I'm glad you're happy with your position. That's not on the back of the line. That's why I said they can be deployed anywhere between the edge of the table and the tip of one movement. Oh. See? So, Have we changed that? That is different. I'm trying to... Okay, got one character. Well, you don't have to deploy yet, Michael. You can wait and see what I do with my guys first, if you like. Okay. I have deployed my models. Now, Michael, you can deploy yours. I, know. I think I shall put them in there. From the edge of the table there to the end of the movement. So they can't be further than the end of the movement stick. Okay. 
Are they okay? Are they inside the range of the movement stick? Oh, perfect. Great deploy. Terrific. So, having deployed, we're now ready for our first turn. So, my turn first. Each turn is broken into two phases. Movement phase and a shooting phase. So, I'm going to use my first movement phase to move some of my models. Movement is really easy. You simply take the movement stick and place it so it's touching the base of one of the models you're going to move. Grown-ups, if you're playing this game, it's good to let your kids go first. Don't listen to Daddy. It is usually good to let your children go first, but for the purposes of this game, I'm going first just so that you can see what I'm doing. So I then move the model so that it is touching the movement stick. As long as the model is touching the movement stick somewhere, it's a good move. So this model, for example, is starting at one end and moving all the way to the other end. And that is a good move. I just hurt my nose on the battle. And I'm going to leave that last model where it is. And that's the end of my turn. Well, that's the end of my movement phase, sorry. Then I get to do some shooting. So let's see who my models can see. Someone can definitely see him. You can just see him. Where's my box? But I Behind don't me. think... Uh, ooh, On your oh, cushion. Light. He can see through there as well. You there we don't go. So you really do have to get down to model's eye view for these shots. Um, so you actually have a good look down and see... If you want to, whether you can, if you want to, and you don't have a laser, see the enemy model. you don't have a laser which he has. You can just use your measuring stick to see. You can, yes, just to see whether you can point the measuring stick anywhere <laughs> at an Ow. enemy model. So I can see clearly that I can point that measuring stick right at that enemy model. So he is going to have a shot. So then I get my box out. I'm going to roll a dice. So this model is going to attempt to shoot him there. To hit, I need to roll four, five, or six on my six-sided dice. Oh. And I have rolled a six. Yay. Yep. So Michael now gets to see whether his soldier can avoid the incoming fire or I'm, take it on his armour. I'm not very good at avoiding at rolling dice in the box. He also needs a four, five, or six. Six! A six. I can't see that. He has avoided the fire. That's six, okay. everybody, look, I'm not lying. Look. It is. There we go. It's a six. Yep. <laughs> see that? And then we know my other model here can see through to shoot this one, so he is also going to have a shot. A five. It is a five. I'm not making it up. There we are. So you can roll your protection shot. That's all right. That'll six. count. It's a six. There we go. So my shooting has achieved nothing this turn. So, Michael, that's the end of my turn. It's now your turn to move and shoot. Wait, let me just check something. I'm pretty sure he can see there. Yes. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure. So you won't be able to charge it, mate. Ah, right. We'll get onto that later. Yes. Yay! No, wait. What's that? Shield. Okay. Definitely don't, can't do a charge. I don't know why he's fallen over. Alright, you're not going to move further, I'm going to move further. That's okay. Did I move this dude? No, you've not moved him yet. I'm just warning our protection. Nope. Make sure he's touching the movement stick. Yes. There we go. And then this dude, who I haven't moved, is going to move a grand total of... About a millimetre. Okay. <laughs> right. Shooting! Shooting phase! You are going to shoot you. Yep, absolutely, that's fine. I'm probably going to get nothing. Be prepared. Three. Try and roll in your box. Five! A 
five. And this guy here five. rolls a six. Everybody look. We're doing very well so Everybody. far. Yeah. It says a four Everybody now, look. but it was a six, right? Really. Right. Good. This one is going that way. I don't know how he's shooting it. He's looking the wrong way. That's all right. All models can see in every direction. What about the guns? So off you go. Like so owls. Go. And shoot in every direction. Five. five. A five. <laughs> Although your aim at that box is very poor. A four! So again. Doing very so well far, this we're game. Doing very well. This dude and this dude. It does not normally go this well in games. Two! He has missed. Last, someone has missed a shot. Is that all of your shooting? I think that's everybody who's going to shoot anybody. Yep. Yep, he yeah. can't see anybody. So that's the end of the second turn. And you can make up one! So if you make up a wall, the person who goes first wins automatically. We'll come to that at the end. <laughs> Okay. I thought so I we're going to call this now, uh, and we'll come back to you in a couple of minutes at the end of the game. Okay, you don't need to stop the camera though. Let's okay, welcome back. As you can see, things have changed quite a bit on the tabletop uh, in the last couple of minutes. And Michael's forces have advanced into heavy fire, um, and we've both taken 50% losses, so we've each lost two models. However, I've just had a pretty poor turn of shooting, and Michael has got into a great position, what which means he is in a position, if he wants to, to charge. Now, if we can just take this... Uh, uh, Michael, can we take that back so that people can see what you're doing? Okay. So, Michael can make a normal move. So he's placed his rod down to check that this target is less than one rod away. So he can move his model in what's called a charge. So he can charge right into contact with that guy. And this is important, immediately gets to make an attack. And it's just like a shooting attack, he still needs a four or more, and I still need a four or more to defend. I'll take these out, they're not, they're still, they've still been shot. It's Whee! a three, now, so he's failed. This one. This one is also going to charge in. Charge is quite a risky move, isn't it? No, it isn't actually, because when you charge, you're not allowed to come out of charge. You have to keep on doing it. But the advantage with charging is that if you can kill the person in your charge, you get to shoot in the same turn as well. Ooh. So it can be very good. He has got a six. Not nine. And his victim has only got a one. That's a cake, by the way. Cakes so, are one. So you still feel we'll good take if you that away. Then. He has been killed in the charge. I've only one model left. And it's my turn, and it looks like this is probably going to be the deciding turn. So my model here is going to attempt to fight back. I think a charge last is basically two turns. And he's rolled a five. <gasps> Let's just see, Mike. And he has also been able to defend it. Uh-huh. That. I'm not lying, ladies and gentlemen. So, Michael, it's your turn. This dude? Yeah. I'm going to come out. Uh, just a quick question. Go on. Um, what happens if they're less than a stick away, but there's some kind of terrain in the way? They have to move around the terrain. Okay, because the stick has to be laid down and they move so that they're touching the stick. Because it's cheating if you could use a bendy stick. That's right. That's so cheating. You can't shoot, obviously, but you can fight over here. I will fight. Five! A five. five. Let's see if he can defend, fight you uh, off. It's three. a three. He yeah. has failed. He's been cut down. And that's... This is why the game is good for your children. Because most likely they win, like I do. It's a game of luck. So Michael has won that battle. Victory! I hope you followed the course of how things were played. If you didn't, then... Just patience. watch the video through again. <laughs> However, you will notice that this is a very, very simple game. The idea is that this should be the starting point for a discussion with your children on how to add new rules and to change the game in a way that encourages them to be creative and imaginative with the hobby of miniatures wargaming. There was something we did which gave, which meant the person who went first had a big advantage. The second, the first upgrade we did. One, six, two. Ideas five. that you come up with can be brought into the game and you can test them and see if they work. And if they don't work, throw them out. If they do work, keep them in 
and build your own game keep from this very, very simple stuff. Keep chocolate cake, don't keep carrot cake. So thank you for watching. <laughs> I'm going to say goodbye. Michael, are you going to say goodbye? No. No, Michael's not going to say goodbye. Goodbye. Lex, are you going to say goodbye? Bye. Goodbye. 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 Thank you very much. Goodbye.